Kids and mittens go hand in hand this time of year, but while they're wearing them, they can also learn from them. We recently Skyped with Amy Blaubach, founder of Curious Minds on a snowy day for a DIY Friday on Mitten Science. Hey, Amy, great to have you with us again on this DIY Friday, and you've got some uh, great activities for the little ones involving mittens, something we're all paying attention to today, <laughs> right? We do. Um, a really fun activity for the winter time now that the snow is here is to learn about temperature and engineering and some, of course some reading. Um, so I have this fun activity based on the children's book, The Mitten by Jan Brett. Really great book. Mm -hmm. So children get to find their own mitten to see if their hands stay warm and dry and does a mitten really work to keep us comfortable outside when we play in the snow. I love it. And so there's a little bit of kind of designing a science experiment here. And uh, so tell us yeah, how, so, how we get started. So we have, you can, we have lots of thermometers around the house now yeah. from the last two years, right? True. So you can take the temperature outside, take it inside and compare. And then what you can do is design your own mitten with maybe some felt, some cotton or flannel, some other miscellaneous objects you have around the house. This one was designed by one of our four-year-old friends. And you can see that that person put some plastic on it to try to make it waterproof or water resistant. Smart. So you can design your own mitten. Then you could, this is a thermometer here, you could take the temperature of what, what's the temperature inside my mitten? Hmm. And then take the temperature of the ice and maybe put your hand on it to see, does my mitten really keep my temperature, my hand warm? And uh, can you feel the cold? Is it wet or dry? And then after your hand is there for a moment, you can retake the temperature mm. to see how did that change? So a lot of just simple engineering and curiosity based off of this wonderful children's book. Right, and you know, and also like what works better? Does the felt work better? Does the fleece work better? Yeah, yeah, a lot of things happening here. <laughs> Excellent, very good. And then you get to read the book as well, right? Oh, I, I always love throwing in a piece of literature for the children. It really sparks that imagination and broadens their horizons. Very good. Right. Great idea. Great, uh, especially this weekend as Ooh, we're looking yeah. for the snow to be showing up. A little mitten science is good stuff. Mitten, mitten science is the way to go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Amy, Amy, thank you. Thanks for having me. WCCO.com slash links has your hookup to find more of Amy's DIY projects on Curious Minds.